everyone. Today we are going to be talking about clefs and letter names. Now, there are many clefs for different instruments, but today we are going to be looking at only two of them, namely the treble clef and the bass clef. Now, with the treble clef, this is how we draw the treble clef. I am sure you have seen this somewhere before. This is called a treble clef. It is also known as the G clef. The G clef. Another clef that we're going to be looking at is the bass clef. It's called a bass clef. Another name for a bass clef is F clef. Let's go back to the treble clef. The reason why they call it the treble clef or the G clef, it is because you start drawing it on the G line. So the second line from the bottom on our staff is called a G. And we start drawing it from the G line. So we make a dot there on the G line and go all around it. Finish it off. Just like that. You can practice at home how to draw it. You must have five lines for the stave and start drawing it, as I said, from the G line, you make a dot all around and then finish it off just like that. Now, with the base cliff, yes, you have guessed it right, we start drawing it on the F line because it's also called a F cliff. So you make your dot there like a little ear. It goes around like that, and you have two dots in the first spaces at the top, the two first spaces at the top. That's how we draw our F clef or bass clef. Let's do it again. Make a dot on the F line all the way like a little ear, and then finish it off with our two dots. Now, with the letter names, we have only seven letter names in music from A, then B, C, D, E, F, G. Then we are going to start over again for our octave on the A. With the clefs. Now, as I said, that is our G line on the treble clef. That is our G line. That means that the spaces that follow, or the lines that follow from that G, as I said, we start counting from A again. The space is going to be A, the line, B, the space, C, the line, D, space, E, the line, F. Then going backwards from that G, going backwards, then that space will be F. Then the line will be E. Now, looking at our base clef. As I said, that line, the second line from the top, is called a F. Now, if we look at our letter names, when we are going up, then from F, it's going to be G in the space, then A on the line. Then we go backwards from F. It's going to be F, the space will be E, the line, D, the space, C, the line, B, the space, 
A, then the last line of the bass clef is a G. There is an easier way to remember your lines and spaces. For the treble clef, for the lines, so that you can remember the lines, you can say, every good boy deserves food. But if I ask you, what are the letter names of the lines for the treble clef, you're going to tell me it's E, G, B, D, F. But if you remember, every good boy deserves food, then you'll know all your lines for the treble clef. Now, for the spaces, you can just remember the word face. F, A, C, E. It's all the spaces on the treble clef. For our bass clef, to remember the lines, you can say, good boys deserve food always. Then for the spaces, all cows eat grass. Thank you and enjoy your theory.